What is up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're doing a day a day of eating vlog. Uh, as a developer, um, I've seen a lot of these day of eating kind of videos, and a lot of times they're from people who are like ripped with like six packs, or they work out every day, or they're like fitness models, those kind of things. I'm kind of the opposite uh, in terms of my profession. I do programming, so I'm literally sitting down for six to eight hours a day, um, basically being not moving like at all. One thing I try to do to combat that is I work out four to five times a week. I generally try to eat healthier. Um, I do a lot of things to make sure that I'm not like eating food subconsciously because uh, it's very easy to when I'm sitting down doing work. And right now it's 10.54. This is typically the time when I start to get kind of hungry. I don't really eat in the morning normally. So what I do is I make scrambled eggs, but then I mix in some salsa uh, this is like literally zero calories. It just makes it taste better. And then I'll mix in uh, like a handful of crushed tortilla chips. And then I do try to do my, uh, at least my ag tacos on um, corn, uh, corn tortillas. We do also have flour tortillas. Two of those are nine grams of fat. So I realized like I could just switch to corn and these have, these have 0.5 grams of fat in each one rather than four and a half. So I switched to these at least for breakfast. So while these are kind of a little still wet, like a little gooey, I put in a little bit of salsa, that much, and then crack them, break them over it, and mix them in. So after uh, the eggs are done, what I literally do is just take the tortillas, put them on another pan, and just heat them up. Uh, pro tip, if you do make tacos, heat up your tortillas. It makes them next level just by heating them up, making them a little bit crispy, and uh, you just get these amazingly delicious tacos here. So I'm gonna heat these up and then uh, put the eggs on. We have some avocado and some feta cheese. Put these away. And this is the final product. I put some avocado on there, some hot sauce, cut up a little bit of feta cheese for it. Oh my gosh, this is perfect. So this is pretty much what I eat every morning. One thing I'm trying to do for this video is not eat things that I just like wouldn't normally eat just for the video. Uh, we kind of talk all the time, we kind of joke because we eat tacos for basically breakfast and lunch every day. What is up guys? I did, I'm with it. We're already at, it's like 2, 1.30. I did that forever ago. So one thing I do try to do, not drink a lot of soda, like normal. Do you do? What? <laughs> Shut up. Like, like soda because if I'm sitting there all day, it's very easy for me just to like drink it and then I'm just drinking calories all day. Um, also, soda's not that great for you, but you get the idea. It's like just kind of subconsciously eating or drinking things. Uh, but <laughs> for Halloween, Haley, my girlfriend, her aunt sent us like chocolate. So <laughs> you look in here, I have all of this and we already filled that bowl there and I cannot control myself. So that's a perfect example of why I don't have like soda or snacks sitting by my desk. I mean, yeah, I still come out here and eat these, but if it was sitting right there, I would just eat it all day. For lunch, Haley is making, we call these Cosmic Charlies. They're actually like, it's a recipe from a coffee shop that we used to go to in college that actually went out of business. So you can't buy these anymore. I would say on a typical day, Brian waits for me to get home and say what we're eating. <laughs> This is true. So this is the final product of what we call a Cosmic Charlie. It's basically just bread, meat, pickles, and like mayo and stuff. And then you just toast it. Another little like panini press thing there. But we actually make these quite a bit. On another note, it is crazy hat day at work. I don't really have a crazy hat, but I stole Haley's <laughs> hat. This is somebody we know, well, Haley knows, who like runs this place. So I don't know which way to wear it. I think this way is better. So it is kind of weird that this is like more recently has been a tech-based channel. Uh, I've done quite a few fitness videos on the channel and business videos, those kind of things. But I just thought it'd be kind of cool from a perspective of somebody who does sit down every day. Uh, what I eat in a day might be a little bit interesting. Um, 
a lot of these videos that I watch are from people who are like fitness YouTubers or they work out, they're personal trainers, those kind of things. And I thought it might be a little interesting to do kind of one for the more average person. A lot of us sit down every day. A lot of us don't do a lot during the day. So I thought it'd be kind of cool to make a video about it and how I try to generally stay healthier through what I'm eating and what I'm drinking. Okay, so what I typically try to do also, um, I try to make sure that I work out uh, four times a week roughly. So I have like my breakdown here about what I typically do. Uh, so on Monday, I know it's like national chest day, but I actually do back and biceps on Mondays. And then on Tuesdays, I do chest and tries or like a push day and a pull day. Uh, Wednesdays, so today, I do shoulders, abs, and then I try to do like a combo. And what that means is like, I just try to make up for any like particular exercise. I don't think I did well on these two days. Um, like if I was doing one and I felt like I wasn't in the correct mindset or I didn't have really good form or I didn't do the weight that I wanted, whatever, I tried again on Wednesday um, to try to just, you know, compensate for that. Thursday, I typically do try to keep it just a single uh, muscle group, which is legs. Friday, Saturday, Sunday, I typically take off unless I do like some sort of cardio or something like that. Um, all of these days, I do really heavy cardio in terms of jump roping. For some reason, jump roping has just like been my thing. I've been practicing about like speed roping, all those things, so I do a lot of that. But let me show you what I actually take before I go work out. Before I go to the gym, I typically take a pre-workout, but I used to take C4 and I ran out so I went to the store and they only had this stuff and it was 30% off, so I tried it. It's a fruit punch pre-workout, but I'm actually not a huge fan of fruit punch, so I'm kind of sad that I bought it. Uh, but this is Cytosport and it has two grams of beta alanine and then 200 milligrams of caffeine. So pretty average for like a pre-workout. I don't like taking super caffeinated ones, um, but I do like the skin crawl thing, which some people don't, which is the beta alanine. So I like taking that um, with, or I like having that in my pre-workout. But this is the only thing I take before I go work out. I don't take any uh, like BCAAs or any other supplements or anything. This is pretty much the only supplement I use in general. I do have a bunch of like proteins and stuff. This is my favorite, This the GNC branded isolate. Um, I'll drink that normally and I'll talk about that later. But in terms of supplements, don't really take any besides pre-workout. Uh, I enjoy it. I don't even really need it. If I had like a placebo one, I've always said I would take that too, but I just, I need to take something to like get in the mindset. So I'm gonna drink this, go to the gym, and then eat again. What are you doing? <laughs> Why? <laughs> gym I just got done and what I typically try to do when I get back from the gym is eat like a little bit of something I don't like eating a full meal right when I get back um, just because I don't know if I eat right after I work out like a lot of food my stomach will hurt I'm just gonna have a little Greek Greek crunch light and fit yogurt these things are fantastic um, and they're since they are Greek yogurt there's zero fat um, zero you know zero fat in there but the uh, little toppings are gonna add a little bit so with the toppings, um, it's 14 grams of fat. This is actually not zero, zero fat Greek yogurt. I think they changed that, that's weird. But anyway, so that's 14 grams of fat, 11 protein, zero carbs, I guess. I don't know, just yogurt out of carbs. Anyways, this is what I'm gonna have as a little post-workout snack. So here's a trivia question. If you have this spoon or this spoon, which is the superior spoon here? If you chose this one, you're wrong and you're awful. This is the only answer. Big spoons are the worst. They don't fit in anything. I don't know why people make big spoons. One spoonful is too big for a thing of cereal. It's too big for oatmeal. And it's too big to even like fit in this. Big spoons are terrible. <laughs> Haley is making potatoes and asparagus. If y'all don't have uh, or don't eat a lot of like vegetables, try making some asparagus. Haley cooks them in the oven, put some uh, Parmesan cheese on them. They're so, so good. I'm gonna eat that. And then also, one thing I wanted to talk about was, 
uh, what I try to do when I do shop, because grocery shopping is actually one of my favorite things, which is weird, uh, I try to buy things like this. So this is uh, ground turkey breast from HEB, but it's 99% lean, or 99% lean, 1% fat. So in one serving, it's 28 grams of protein and only one gram of fat. And it's also not red meat. So I try to like make smaller choices like this. Cause if you make a small choice to get turkey, uh, 99 one turkey versus like 70, 30 ground beef, they're still gonna make tacos. They're still gonna be beef, but, or sorry, they're still gonna be meat, but it's not red meat and it's also not super fatty. And it's, you know, it can be dressed up with tons of spices and things like that. But just like the small little change, the small little choices I make at the grocery store, I try to like make worth it. Uh, so, you know, red meat was one thing I was willing to give up. So we get turkey now instead of beef. So the finished product is, we got the turkey, we got potatoes, and we got asparagus with the Parmesan cheese which Haley made, that is like her thing that she introduced me to. Look at that. Oh my gosh. I put some hot sauce on there, to give a little bit of flavor. Besides, I mean, there's a bajillion spices on there, but hot sauce helps uh, just make it a little bit, a little bit nicer. I know this probably looks super good and super fancy. Like, oh, there's no way you do this every day. So you have to understand with us, we have like three foods. We eat <laughs> potatoes, eggs, and turkey. Like we we don't eat too much of like a variety of things. So like, yes, this might like look like really fancy because you did a good job. Thank but you. like potatoes we make all the time. Turkey we make almost every day. And asparagus we used to make a lot, like a couple of times a week, but we stopped recently. Um, we just use what we have and try and find different ways of putting it together. I think I want a chocolate chip cookie out. So, having some Halo Top, but I did want to say, a lot of these like, day of eating videos are such crap. When people are like, I'm gonna eat like the veggie, veggies all day and I'm gonna, I don't know, eat plain oatmeal. People lie, they show off their best days. I feel like it's important to know for these videos, it's more like a reference for like cool ideas of what to eat. They should never be like attainable goals really. Like you shouldn't watch these videos with a goal to eat that way always. Be happy with the way you are and what you eat. Most important thing. This is really good. Hello YouTube, I would like to report that Brian just ate a mini Kit Kat. So I'm going to end the video here. Uh, I'm just finishing up the day. I usually like to, uh, as a, like a snack, have uh, cinnamon oatmeal, and then I put like a spoonful of peanut butter in there. It's super, super good, um, but you're also getting some nice oats and good amount of nutrition in this. So, you know, generally pretty good, but this is just what I eat in a day as a software developer who sits in my butt for eight hours a day. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. I'm gonna eat this. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.